Hello everyone, I hope this video finds you well. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I thought I'd pop by and create a sample with my new release that's available on Create and Craft as I just right now, it's actually available now. But before I start the card, I just wanted to say a huge thank you. A huge thank you for your support, not only in purchasing my designs, but also for all the likes, the shares, the comments, because without you, I wouldn't be here. So thank you very much. Your support has been amazing. Um, and it's a joy to create videos for you, which I hope inspire you to create in some small way. So what I'm going to do is create a card. Now, everything I create on cards, on tags, on snippets, on top tips, you could translate those into any journal page as well, if you wished. So what I'm going to do is create a smaller card this time. So I've got Pink Frog Smooth card. I've got a piece of five by five inch square card, Pink Frog. I've then created a mat, five and a quarter inches square, and then I've got a card blank six by six. Now the lovely, I think it was Anne-Marie that posted in my group on Facebook that if you have problems with fussy cutting, because I use 300 GSM card, Anne-Marie has tested the 200 GSM Pink Frog card. And if you want to do your fussy cutting out of the 200 GSM card, it's a little bit thinner and is a little bit less stressful if you've got dexterity problems or your fingers hurt. So I just thought I'd mention that and thank Anne-Marie for that as well. Right, so I'm going to just take a look at stamp sets. Tracy cannot pick these up at all. Now, what I just want to... When I come onto YouTube, YouTube is my time to spend with you it's my time to waffle if there's anything you don't like obviously you can fast forward and you can or you can choose not to watch the videos the idea of my youtube channel is to be as informative as possible and obviously i will go through things in great detail my workshops i go through in even more detail in fine detail so at the moment on creating craft tv if i just grab let me just grab my iPad. So if we go to Creating Craft TV. So if I go to creatingcraft.com, I've got some, not me personally, but my products are on Creating Craft TV tomorrow. You can actually purchase them now, but they're actually being showcased tomorrow. So it's Wednesday and they're being showcased at midday. And if you go to that show, you can see all my products are on there. I've got my ephemera. I've got my big bundle where you get my free workshop and uh, a stamp set. And there's also a free gift with purchase. You can get the stamps individually as well. And you can also get my washi. Now, those products are available now. You don't have to wait until the shows go live. The, the products are actually available now for purchase. And obviously, it doesn't matter what designer you are, who you are, whether you're abs, whether you're somebody from a different company, it doesn't matter. What you do is you design stamps that obviously is in your style and that you love creating with. And I create, I designed, I designed stamps and decided to design stamps when asked by abs because even before abs asked me, my sort of forte was a rubber stamper. Even when I started 28 years ago, I adored stamps uh, and I've never changed. I've always loved stamps. So for me, it was a natural progression to design stamps. Now, I design stamps in my style, but what I do is I try to offer inspiration um, of how you can use those stamps, whether you like clean and simple, whether you like journals, whether you like collage, whether you like layered, whether you like 15 minute projects, I cover them all so that you've got something to appeal to lots of tastes. Now you will see that All In Create have got lots of packaging that is coloured. Now my stamps are not coloured. 
and I'll be honest with you, the reason they're not coloured is, for me personally, I don't colour them because obviously it takes time to colour that packaging, but I want to come to you with as much inspiration as possible. So what I do is I spend my time doing YouTube videos, Instagram reels, short videos, snippet videos, so that I try to spend my time doing that. I'm not saying that my packaging will never be coloured, but at the moment it's not coloured because I put the priority on offering you inspiration on YouTube videos, workshops. I like to give you inspiration in a different form so that you can come along, listen to me waffle and join in with me. I want it to be, I want everything to be achievable. So that's my concept and that's the way I go about designing. So on All and Create, not All and Create, on Create and Craft, I have these stamp sets available. There are four A6 stamp sets, like so. There are four A6 stamp sets and honestly, they're a joy to work with. So there are four A6 stamp sets. There are a seven stamp sets now this is i think this is a free gift with purchase this one the concept cons oh concentric petal <laughs> can't pronounce so that is a free gift and then you've got these two a sevens as well you can also get this stamp set on its own on all and create website and i've got a um, affiliate link for that um, so I'll add that to the description box I'll also add the link to the bundle in the description box as well but those are the A7 stamp sets and then also in the bundle I have got some ephemera I've got a coloured version and a black and white version and those are in the bundle and they're available individually also on Create and Craft and all the stamps are available individually as well. Now, what I want to point out is a beautiful stencil that I've bought out previously. This was bought out in a previous release in August. And this is called Autumny Falls. It's Stencil 177. And this works beautifully with this October release. So I thought we'd bring this into the format somehow. So I've got my five inch square card. Let's grab some low tack tape. I've got some low tack tape, so let's bring that in. There we go. So I've got some low tack tape, and what I'm going to do, I'm not measuring, I'm not doing anything like that. It's going to be nice and simple, and I'm just going to let's just place that on my arm just so it is definitely low tack so I'm just placing it against my skin just to remove some of the tackiness and I'm going to place the low tack tape just over there and then what I'm going to do is then place let's just remove some of the tackiness by using my hand or my skin now this I'm not sort of met I'm not looking for you know, immaculate squares. What I'm looking for is just, you know, open spaces here, there in the four areas. So I've got open spaces in those four areas. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to take this stencil, which is the Autumny Falls, and I'm going to take colours that are already on my desk. The only thing I didn't do was bring out some ink blending tools because I'm good like that. So let's bring those out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, let's start on this square. So what we need is we need some copier paper. Now we'll, you, what you will notice is that I'm a lady that likes to go into great detail about everything. And the only reason I do that is because I want everything. Look at me, can't even tear straight. I want everything to be achievable. 
I want everybody to be able to achieve some good results. Unlike my tearing of paper, which is just truly appalling. There we go. So I can just add that there and I can just add that just so that I don't go over the other areas so that I can get each area to look different. So I've got this stencil and you can see on this stencil 177, I'll add the affiliate link for this to the All and Create website. But you can see it's got these smaller leaves here, which also coordinate with the new release, which is there. That's the A7 turnover. Also, this stamp set, 1004 Lethal. So it coordinates with that set as well. And I will never bring, bring stamp, set at, stamp sets out without knowing in my mind when I design them that I can use them in lots of different ways. So what I've done is I've added the stencil just in this area here. And I'm just using Twisted Citroen. So I'm using a little bit of Twisted Citroen. I'm just using my cut and dry foam. You can use a sponge, a makeup sponge, makeup brush, blending brush, ink blending tools, whatever makes you happy. Um, so I've used Twisted Citroen. I'm then going to use Mowed Lawn. So I'm going to use my brush, mainly because that's just a hand. And I'm just going to add, add with a H, add a little bit of that darker colour. There we go. And then what I'm going to do, because I want a little bit of touch of blues, let's bring in peacock feathers. That is the blue one, isn't it? Yes. So we'll bring in that peacock feathers. There's a dark blue on there. We've got a different blue. Bear with me. And I also want to educate in the fact that Everything doesn't have to be a rush either. And you can see I've moved my stencil a little bit. doesn't matter. Just move it back again. So I've now got peacock feathers on my blending brush. Now, when you use brushes, it applies the ink in a very delicate way. Unlike the cut and dry foam, the cut and dry foam picks up the ink. The cut and dry foam is very dense. So it lays down the colour more densely, if that makes sense. To be honest, they're all, you know, tools can be used for different reasons. You have to work with what works with you. Now, this is only applying a very light layer of colour. And that's what brushes are designed to do. I like to sometimes use cut and dry foam or a makeup sponge because if I've got a makeup sponge or cut and dry foam, I can go like this, squish it, and then I can really add much deeper layers of colour and I'm just adding lift your stencil just stunning absolutely stunning just love this and this is why this stencil came into play because I knew these stamps were coming out and they were all designed at the same time so what I'm going to do now is we covered that section up not that we can because we've got so many ink pads in the same way. So cover that section up, that square. You've got some on the washi tape here, so that won't be on there. Let's just... So I've just got this square here. And then this time I can just add the big leaf if I wish. So let's pick up a little bit of the Twisted Citron. So we'll pick up some of that Twisted Citron. And I'm using that cut and dry foam because I want a good inky layer of ink just to that leaf. I don't want a fine layer. I want a really good inky layer. I'm then going to take a little bit of the darker colour, which is that one, which is Mow Lawn. I'm going to add some of that darker colour and the brush will lay the colour down a little bit lighter. I'm then going to go to my cut and dry foam again and use my peacock feathers. Now, if you've got dexterity problems, hold your stencil in place 
with a piece of low tack tape. You know, hold it in place down here and then you don't have to hold it like I'm doing. Lift that up and you can see this is where the low tack tape is, where it's gone over the edge, that's fine. And I've got the leaf in there. So if we lift this up, this is what we've got so far. Just absolutely adore it. So then let's go back to the top one. And now if we use this acer leaf here, maple leaf, you've then got it to coordinate with this stamp set by using this maple leaf. It coordinates with this stamp set. It coordinates with this background. And then your scarecrow coordinates with them all. So then I can go and add this here. Let's add just part of it there. And then go back to your twisted citron. And just add your twisted citron. You can see where the tape is because it's lighter, where it touches the tape. And it's absolutely fine touching the tape. So then we'll go back to the darker colour, which is the mode lawn. Add touches of the mode lawn. And then we'll go to the peacock feathers and add the peacock feathers. Lift that up and then let's add a little, little bit of the leaf, like so, just like that. So we'll use the ink that's already on there. So use a part of some, just using a part of the stencil here. I'm not using the whole of the stencil and I'm also using the ink that's already on there okay so that's what you've got so far so we've got a little square left so let's bring that down and that one so this time let's bring in this stencil so this is deciduous 181 again i'll add my affiliate link for the stencil 181 So I'm then going to add some of the numbers. Find somewhere that you think, yes, I'll get quite a few numbers. So let's go there. That's it. And then I'm going to use the ink that's on my cut and dry foam. Plenty of ink on there. So we can use the dark. There should be plenty of ink on there. And there is. And then we'll use the peacock feathers and we'll add a bit more ink to that. And just lightly going over. If I lift that up, this is what we've got. So that's what we've got at the moment. So let's just, let's just sort of tidy up a little bit. And always sort of spend a couple of seconds just taking your time, even if it's just clearing up a little bit or wiping your hands, just to have a pause and a think. Right, I'm now going to grab another stamp set. And I like to show how all the releases work together beautifully. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my 30 days stamp set 922 again that will be available using the affiliate link so let's use my stamp set 922 and what we're going to use shall we use some greens oh they're already out so what i'm going to do is i think we'll use a little bit of shady light blah, 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 a little bit of shady lane and a little touch of verdant on the stamp don't ink your stamp over your project which is what i was just about to do so i'm going to add let's bring this here so you can see i'm going to add the verdant and then i'm going to add 
little touches of the shady lane. And let's just add. Which one did I? That one. Preferably the right way round. So I'm just adding. Oh, I just love it. Just adding some of the stamp in there. And that it's just a fantastic stamp for that. Absolutely fantastic. Let's just add this here. And what this does, does is, this stamping, it's in the permanent ink. And it just adds another little detail to our image. So on this 30 day stamp set, stamp set 922, get the packaging tracy because it's a lot easier. There's lots of different elements. There's your 30 days have September, April, June and November. All the rest have 31, blah, 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 blah. You've got some alphabet and you've got 60 seconds one minute 60 minutes one hour blah 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 and it's just a, one of those fantastic backgrounds that just goes with everything so i'm going to use the alphabet section to go in my numbers so again verdant and then shady lane and i'm just going to add that to there oh just stunning creating makes me so happy so I'm just going to add a little bit more of that stamping which I have to say my fingers are nice and messy you might not be able to see very detailed at the moment don't worry I will lift that up once I've removed the low tack tape so that's got the alphabet in there and then I'm going to add the 30 days have September April June and November exactly the same verdant then shady lane i'm going to add that to this section here and i'm not pressing too hard and this text won't move because it's with the permanent ink the distress area don't forget that's reactive to water so i'm just adding little bit of stamping and I'm going to add the same background area to this here so verdant and shady lane and I don't press the stamp too hard because it just it just gives you a little bit more of a random look there we go and then again absolutely adore this and then before I remove the low tack tape I'm just going to do a little bit of blending I'll remove the low tack tape and then I'll lift that up closer to the camera right let's just bring this in so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to let's use the ink that's already on here so I'm going to use a little bit of the twisted citron just to add a little bit of shading just a little bit of shade and i'm going to turn it over then and add a little bit of the blue so you can see i've not re-inked the area not re-inked that at all then i'm going to use that darker color the mode lawn and i'm going to add a little bit more mink, ink mink, ink to my blending brush and then i'm just going to add the darker color let's add a little bit more because you want it darker sort of around those edges just where the washi tape I just want it a little bit darker, a little bit more mode lawn. Right. And 
what we will do now is we'll move, remove the low tack tape, which often I can spend ages doing because with my nails, I can't find the ends. There we go. Now, even though I used my low tack tape against my skin, just be mindful just to remove it really carefully. Let's just remove that. There we go. And now we've got our masked areas, which just look beautiful. So let's not move anywhere. Let's just leave that on one side. Let me just grab another piece of card, which is almost impossible just because I want one. So I've got another piece of card. It's around about four by six. Let's just move this out of the way at the moment. Let's bring the stencil in. Can you remember the stencil's got all this ink on? So let's give that a spritz with water. So I didn't clean my stencil. Let's just see what's left on there. So I'm just going to use the stencil and I'm just going to add that there. I'm just adding whatever ink on the stencil just to see if there's anything on the stencil at all that I can use for another background. Always test your stencils just to see if there's anything. I'll spend more time trying to lift the stencil. There you go. So just see if there's anything on there you can use. Even if it's something subtle, it's surprising how it can look when you cut things up or when you add it to other elements. There's also a little bit of ink on this number stencil. So let's spritz with water and let's add a few of those numbers on there. Brilliant. So for me now, let me just show you. Let's just wipe all this up just so that we're not in too much a mess. You could also mop that ink up that's left on your non-stick craft sheet with another piece of card by spritzing with water. Now what you've got here is a background. You imagine, you imagine adding just this little leaf, cut it out and put it there or imagine this little leaf just stamped and added on one side. Little sentiment, another background. So I will use that for another card because it's it's just it's wonderful and it's from it's from product that I would have wiped with a wipe. Just brilliant. So now we've got our card here. Let's just move this out of the way. Now I've got a lovely look at this. Doesn't that look lovely? But now if you did that on a whole card as a background, it worked wonderful. Look at the leaves. But this stencil works beautifully with the release. And that's because one, the same person designed it, and two, I designed them at the same time. So let me just grab. So I'm going to take my Leafle stamp set, stamp set 1004. I'm going to take this leaf here, just grab my border acrylic block or A6 acrylic block. I always use a bigger acrylic block because it gives me that leverage, leverage, leverage or whatever. Right, what I'm going to do then is we're going to use some, am I going to use the pin? No, let's use the oxides like we did before. So we'll use the oxides and I'm going to use the Twisted Citron, which is the lightest of the colours. It's only the leaf that I want. So the, the, the twi um, Twisted Citron, the Mode Lawn. Now, what you're doing is you're tapping just so that you don't cover up all that twisted citron 
that's mowed lawn and then I'm going to add some of the the sort of blue touches just here and there and I'm not going to spritz this this time I'm just going to stamp it as is let's just use that so we're just going to stamp that as is And curl that acrylic block just gorgeous just a beautiful beautiful image let's just grab my scissors and of course the scissors what I do is I bury everything under my desk so what happens is I place things on one side bury them with stencils and bits of paper and then I can't find them I always like to work with a smaller piece of card. So then I'm going to not that big a border, Tracy. I'm leaving a little bit of a border. Now it was a nice tip from Anne-Marie. I'm sure it was Anne-Marie. You know, when you, you question yourself because you've seen the post and then you think, I forgot the name right. So if you if you don't like cutting from 300 GSM card, like I'm doing, then use the 200 GSM card because it still works with the, the techniques and it's just a little bit lighter in GSM. Therefore... It's not sort of as difficult to cut out. And for those of you whose hands, you know, just give you a few issues, that 200 GSM card will work well for you. So I'm just cutting out the leaf and I'm leaving a little bit of a, a white border. The white border just makes things pop. If you don't like the white border, don't add that. No problem at all. This is your project. But this could quite easily work on a journal page as well. Let's just cut our leaf out. Let's just cut that a little bit more. There we go. So we've got our leaf, which you can see I'm going to use here. But what I want to do is bring the stencil back in so bring in this stencil. Now, do I want it that way or do I want it that way? That way. So bring in this stencil and a piece of card. Let me grab my cut and dry phone. And of course, I won't be able to find the one I want. But you can, oh, and I have. So I've just got a piece of cut and dry foam. Doesn't matter if it's a makeup sponge or whatever. And I'm going to use my Nocturne ink, my black Nocturne ink. Doesn't matter if you use your distress oxides, the black soot, whatever you've got. But I'm going to use the permanent ink. And I'm just going to colour this. Just with black ink, because I want it really black. Okay, so that gives me the leaf. Now, if I'm quick enough, I can just wipe that permanent ink off. If you like me and you get sidetracked, don't worry, just use a little bit of hand sanitizer and that will remove that from your stencil. I'm then going to cut this leaf out. Just go around the leaf. So this is the stencil. And this is why 
I spend a great deal of time thinking about the designs and how versatile the designs will be, how many times you'll be able to use them. And what I mean by that is these never date. So because they never date, they're in your collection and you can go to them year after year. And each year we develop as creatives and because we develop and our tastes change, we then go back to those same stamps and we create something completely different, which is what I love. If you want to add these to a journal rather than create a card, you could literally get yourself or even make yourself a journal that you add your projects to that you can then go back and look at and then it will spark other ideas throughout the year. Let's just cut that out. There we go. So now I've got a black leaf. And what that will do is give me some contrast just against the green, which works beautifully. So I'll just grab some pin flare. Doesn't matter if you want to use your 3D foam pads, your ultra thick gel medium, whatever works for you. So let's just add some of the, do you know, I come to this cotton every time. It doesn't matter how many times I make sure there's a thread hanging. It never hangs when I come to record the video. So I'm just going to take why am I taking white cotton? Oh dear me, I want black. So take some black cotton and make sure you have got cotton and not polyester what thread like I did because you rip your skin. Because I tried to break polyester thread and it's not a good idea. So I've got this cotton thread and I'm just going to sort of messy it up a little bit. We don't want it to look too regimented, too forced. There we go. Use my pin flare glue and just add some of that pin flare. If you don't want to add dimension to your cards, don't add dimension. I tend to make boxes, hand deliver, and I do love dimension. We all like different things, don't we? And that's why being creative is so much fun. There we go. Just bring that up. So you can see we've used our stencils We've used our stamps. We've used our background stamp from a previous release. I mean, doesn't that look gorgeous? I just love that and I'll be doing that again. Just love it. Right. Also, in the bundle on Creating Craft, I have some washi. And it's just wonderful. It's just lovely washi. And you could use that as a background. I'm going to do a card just with the washi and a leaf. It should just be just wonderful. Just works beautifully. You can see the colours just work beautifully with it. So let's just see. You see, be prepared to... To not, you see, I don't want to use it on this card, but I want to show you because it will look lovely. Let me show you. Let's move this out of the way. Bring this piece in that we've used in the background. So we could add this. Let's just add that washi, like so. And on the scarecrow, there is a little beard. We could stand that beard on there, which we will do. I, why do I always end up doing more than I say I'm going to do? Do I want... I, you can also sort of make this so it's a little bit more, you know, random. 
So let's just grab the scarecrow. What I'm trying to show you is, if you don't want layered cards, if you want clean and simple cards, stamps don't date. And because stamps don't date, they're always there for you year in, year out. So let's take this little beard. Take the beard. Add the little beard just there. Now you don't need to press hard, but what you need to get into the habit of allowing that ink just to sit on there. Okay, so you've got your beard on there. Now, if you didn't want to add anything else, there's a clean and simple card with a little word done. You know I like to add more than that, but that's me all over. So let's just do these two pieces in conjunction with each other. So I love that beard so much. So let's take the beard again. So you can see when I'm creating how ideas develop. So take the little beard. Let's move that out of the way. Take that little beard. And for me, that's why I add lots of different ideas to stamps. And this, I feel this is where I should spend most of my time is educating and showing you how to get the most out of your products. There we go. So we're just cutting the little beard out and I'm just giving him a little narrow border. So I can then add my little beard here, which echoes the black here and gives some balance. So let's add a little bit. I don't think I'll use the pin flare as I'll be there all week. If you don't, if you're not happy with adding it there, you can add him here if you wish, but I don't want to. I still want to see that stenciling in the backdrop. I'm going to add my little beard here. It's always difficult when you've got pin flare and I'm trying to work with it because it's not dry. But that's the whole idea. That's it. So let's have a look at the sentiments. Um, where's the... So on this stamp set, the leafy, we've got explore nature. So let's use that. I'm dropping everything on the floor. Let's bring in some scrap of card. Hopefully it's got a nice clean edge somewhere. Just put our little beard back. But this is how the stamp sets all work together. They don't date. They, they can be used all year around. So let's use that Explore Nature. Again, doesn't, you don't need to press hard. Let's just add these. So it's then when you decide, am I adding a black edge? And I think in this case, both cards will be completely different. So... On this card, I've got the colour, I've got the colour here, and I've got this white in the background. So for me, the, the white contrast with no faux black edge works beautifully. Again, this is your card. You add whatever you wish. So let's add... I hope you have as much stuff as me just everywhere. So I'm just going to add that there. Of course, it wants to move initially because what I'm showing you is how you can create different projects. So let's just move that out of the way. And one project has been created from our waste. So let's add Explore Nature again. We won't put against that edge because it isn't straight, but we will use this card. Okay. 
and just cut our sentiment out. Now on the next one, the little card that we've cut out of, we've made out of waste, I'm going to add a black mat to. Let's just grab a piece of scrap card I can just work on. So I'm just going to add a faux black mat. You can use your ink pads if you wish. I don't tend to use my VersaFine Clair ink pad because it's got a good open time. That's the purpose of the ink pad. And because it's got a good open time, it stays wetter longer. And I just end up smudging the ink on the edges. Right. Okay. So let's bring these in. So that one echoes the white here. But here we've got a lot more open space. So what I'm going to do is just add. You see, I could add it there, but it sort of moves away from this little um, cluster. So I'm going to add this here. So let's just add this here. Like so. So we'll just add right here. Like so. Now the actual original card we started with, we'll place that on our black mat. So it was five inches square and we've added it to a five and a quarter inch square black mat, which echoes the black here and here. But before, no, we will do that first. I was just gonna say, but before, right, we'll just add this to the black mat. Just add that in there. That's it. And then we'll add some white splatters. Give that Posca pen a little bit of a, a shake. Make sure that your paint is flowing in the pen because you're not going to get any splatters if that paint isn't flowing. Just moving my card just so that we hit different areas of that card. Lift that up, let's clean our area. And then I'm going to add that to a six by six inch card blank. Just add that to our card blank. That goes nicely on our card blank, like so, just so you can see that. I just adore that, absolutely love it. Just think it works so, so well. So happy with that. And leaves don't date and they go beautifully with the florals. Now, on one of my samples, I added a floral with a pop of red you could easily do that as well. But leaves don't date. So they're fantastic. Spring, autumn, winter, throughout the seasons, they just work beautifully. Now we've got this. And I haven't got a piece of card cut. I haven't got a mat cut, in other words. So we'll just grab a piece of black card so you can see when that goes against a black mat. Look how that works. But... Just to give this a little bit more. So you can leave it like that if you wish. What I'm going to do is take this stencil, like so. I'm going to pick up the Mode Lawn ink. Just add a little bit of the Mode Lawn ink. And what I'm going to do is just this leaf here, I'm just going to add... I'm not going to cover up the background. I'm just adding a little bit of stencil. And what I'm doing is I'm using a very light touch. And then I'm going to use a little bit of the peacock feathers. And I'm just kissing the card. I'm just, no, this is a stencil, Tracy. I'm just kissing the stencil. Not literally with my, you know, kissing it physically, but just touching the stencil just like so. 
So now you've got a lovely card that's not over cluttered and so it coordinates with my other one as well. I'm going to take the 30 days stamp set and I'm going to add again the verdant ink to the 30 days of September, April, June and November. A little bit of the shady lane and just add little touch of stamping and I mean a touch just here and there there we go and that is that card finished so that is from the waist and your more paired back background and that is your card so I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it inspires you. Um, I just want to show you how versatile the release is. So, and I didn't mention there is a gift with purchase if you purchase from Creating Craft TV as well. So love to all and I'll see you all soon. Bye for now.